Hey scholars, it's me, Ms. Williams here with um, a tutorial on navigating and annotating in your electronic textbook. So let's get started. Um, I already have my Savas dashboard pulled up. Yours will look somewhat similar to mine. And so I'm going to go over here to browse and I'm going to pull up your textbook. Here's the student edition. And I'm going to open up that window. Sometimes it may take a little while. So we're in unit one inside the nightmare and yours should look like this. We'll go over to the menu and we're going to click the table of contents, the same as you would in a hardback book. The story that we're currently reading is in our small group learning and we're reading Where is Here by Joyce Carol Oates. So I'm going to click on it and there it is. It looks almost identical to what you see in the paper copy. So I'm going to hide this banner at the top because we don't need it. I'm also going to hide um, these activities over on the side because we don't need those either. Here, when you press the play button, you'd be able to hear the story being read to you. So if you'd like an audio version, this one is here for you. It gives you a little background as well. So this week we started annotating and we learned that the first step in annotating is locating the words that are new and unfamiliar to us in the text. We did an example by looking at the first paragraph. You can do the same thing here on the electronic version. So in the first paragraph, one of the words that we talked about um, that was new or unfamiliar to us as scholars was the word widow. So if widow is one of the words that is new and unfamiliar to me, I want to circle it. Here's your option. We highlight that word with our cursor, and then we come down to circle. It'll circle that word for us. Once we've circled that word, we can also type in a definition. And what I know about a widow is that a widow is a wife who has whose husband has died. And once we're satisfied with the annotation that we put in that box, we can save it. And there it is. So when we come back to read later on, and if we've forgotten or we need a refresher, that notation is already there. Let's try it again. What about the word incident? Incident could be a word that is new or unfamiliar to you. Don't get incident and accident confused. We can circle that word and then we can type in a definition. An incident is something that happens or an event. And then I'll click save. All right. Another thing that you can do is to highlight the important facts. We also learned that's part two of annotating. In this paragraph, we learned that the stranger appears at the family's house one evening at dusk. The important fact here is one November evening at dusk. Why is that important? Well, it contributes to the setting. So what I, I'd highlight that in pink because I want everything that contributes to the setting to be in pink. And I'll add my notation. What do I know about November? November, it's fall. It's probably cool or chilly out. It may be damp because of the rain. It usually rains in November. And I put all of this thing, these things in here. I probably add that dusk is just before dark. Well, I'm going to save it and it'll be there next time I get ready to um, reread my story and do my close reading. I hope this helps you guys navigate and annotate inside of your electronic textbook. And I'll see you on the next tutorial.